So, Hendrick is dead. But he did have a number of leads that we were able to find on Ciri's location. One of them was a witch. Now, we hear there's a witch over near the town of Midcops, or Midcorpse, as it looks like it's spelled. <laughs> so, we're going to go that way and check that out first, because really, that's probably the closest area, and first time I played through was the first one that I found. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one-handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. I guess he was trying to sell us a crossbow, but hell, I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed. What's supposed to be happening here is we're supposed to stumble up on conversations about people, uh, with people talking about the witch. Heard you talking about a witch. I'd like... You are wrong. And you've wandered too far. Mega Hovel's here, that's all. You should get back on the high road once you came. Maybe I should send me man to the creek. Might catch something. What do you want? So... Whoa! Witch freak! Someone's coming. Okay, so there clearly is a witch here. And they were talking about doing business with her in order to get some kind of, like, a love potion or something like that. And as soon as they saw Geralt there, they they quieted up real quick. So, there is a witch here, and they're kind of trying to keep it a secret. Should send him back to the witch. Like, cure him of laziness. Greetings, ma'am. Good day to you, sir. Need something? Got a matter for your village witch. Know where I can find her? I don't bother with her myself. But ask my man. He'll know. Twerked his back so bad last week he could hardly move. So I sent him to the witch. Came back sprightly as a foal. Where is he? In the yard, no doubt. Pain's gone, but sleuth's set in now. Should be hunting foxberries to feed our young'uns. Marion's lad. Now that man, he knows how to provide for his family. Got some water rats last. They had food for days. Good day. Heard you know where to find the local witch. Who told you that? Your wife. Daft wench. Leave me be and don't listen to that nattering sow. We've not had a witch, shaman, nor cunning wench in ages. You sure? Give it a think. Won't take no for an answer, will ye? Ooh, all right. Know the small pond near the village? Path leads off from it. Follow that till you come across a lone rock. Walk around that, then to the woods. Find the old cart. You're there. Thanks. It's just... Don't harm her, sir. Word of your kind's reached these parts. My kind meaning? Well, the witch-burning kind. Witch hunters have been here already? Nay, but we've heard tell of them. So, when I spied you coming, swords and all, straight away, I thought tales must be true. I'm a witcher, not a witch hunter. Hmm? What? Not one and the same? No. No need to worry. I'm not out to hurt your witch. Ooh, a weight off me heart, sir. She only arrived a short while ago, but she's frightfully wise. Even pleasant on the eyes, if you like them skinny. Thanks for your help. Farewell. What happened to your oh. <clears throat> Well, this is a little bit unusual. Usually in these kinds of stories, when you have a witch that moves into the house outside of town, usually it's something to be feared. But these people seem to be more protective of her than anything. There's the boulder. Now right, and on to the cart. That one guy had referenced witch hunters coming around. 
Now, that's something that we haven't seen yet, but we will see quite a few witch hunters running around in this world. I guess they do exactly what they sound like they do. They go and they hunt down witches. Now, I guess it's a thing about the Nilfgaardians where they have this dislike of mages. There's some references to mages having some level of acceptance in society as long as they submit to the Nilfgaard's will, but I guess not everybody is going to land too well in that kind of situation. So, this guy doesn't want to give up the witch that lives outside of town, thinking that Geralt is a witch hunter. Miss! Cows are wheezing! Won't rise from the barn floor! Pus streams from her snout! Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. This game makes a lot of assumptions about what you're going to know about the world. Now, it is a third game in the series, so the developers were probably assuming that if you're going to be fans of this game, you were fans of the previous two. So... It makes sense that you're going to have references to characters that existed before and not really go that far into explaining who they are upon meeting them. But I don't think this character in particular was one that was in the earlier games. I think she's a character from the book series and she was put into this game and her backstory with Geralt is a part of the backstory of the game, but... I don't know, it, I don't think it's really gone into any detail. Managed to amass quite a book collection. So, we've seen the witch, and I remember as soon as I had seen her playing through the game the first time, like, when I was going through the town, I thought, like, oh, geez, what's going on here? Is this witch, like, hexing the town or something like that? But then, when I saw her, I'm thinking, like, oh, no, she's pretty. I'm not going to be killing her. This game does not uniformly fall into the trope of anything ugly is evil, but it near enough does it that it had I stumbled up across this hut here and saw an ugly old monster there dealing with the people, I probably would have thought, like, yeah, she's gonna die. Yeah, steal all of her shit, Geralt. Something I do like was I got the sneaking suspicion that the remedy that she offered these people was bullshit. She goes and gives, like, like I'm, I'm going to give you an herb, then you do some weird ritual with it, and then feed it to the cow. But I need you to go clean out your barn first. So it's like, <laughs> pretty sure the herb that she's going to give them is meaningless, and that cleaning out the barn is going to actually solve the problem, because it has, like, maybe a problem with mold or something like that. In which case, the magical herb she's offering them is probably just a placebo. Of course, people coming up to a witch in the woods asking for some sort of a magical solution would probably want some sort of a magical solution, and even if she told them, clean out your damn barn, they probably wouldn't have accepted that, and the easiest way to get rid of them is to just go, yeah, take this, clean out your barn first, but take this magic shit, it'll do your job for you. Powerful aura, must be some artifact or... This is where she disappeared to.
Greetings, Witcher. Mr. Spot. Hmm. Where? Hope you didn't come to Gore. No. To talk. Turn around and wait. Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. Changing the subject. Any news of your sisters from the Lodge? None. We can't know too much about one another these days. It's safer that way. Even tried to contact one another? I've wanted to many times. But I've no way of knowing who would answer. Or who might be listening. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses, and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen, and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything... Sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs? Three hens, maybe? My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Hmm. You're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? Nature stinks. 
Oh, sod it, don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoyotel slob either, but an elven mage. What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I have unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. Kira! What's wrong? It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not in your life. <laughs> 